What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we are gonna be doing a mega haul. It's gonna be a mega haul because I have four of the Geek Gear Classic Box. These are the four most recent Geek Gear Classic Box. I believe this one that has the holiday stickers from November, this blue one is from December. And then in this new year, they started actually shipping the boxes in just a regular Cardboard box. I think this is probably January and this looks like it's probably gonna be oh This is the newer one. I just got this one in so that's probably February So we're gonna unbox all four of these if you're interested in getting the geek gear classic box I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below. I just did a, a mega haul of our wizardry boxes last month, so you can check that one out. And I also just want to give a really, really big shout out to Geek Gear, who, um, while I was live streaming th tonight, it's Sunday, I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but when I was live streaming, they jumped on and actually offered to do a giveaway on the live stream. So we gave away three boxes to some lucky winners, and yeah, Geek Gear, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's do this. First box we're gonna open is this one. Again, I believe this is the November box. They always do their holiday box in November so that you can um, get it before the holidays. Once you pull the tab and you open up the box and you remove the tissue paper, this is what you're gonna see. This box out of all of them is quite heavy. So I don't know what they're gonna have in there. Maybe like a glass or uh, a book. I don't know, I'm just guessing now. All right, let's see what we have. So we're gonna set the shirt to the side. I am quite excited about the shirt though, just based off of what I can see. We always do the shirt last. All right, first item. It's not technically a book, but this is a Transformers notebook. So it's kind of like the journals that we got. This is a licensed Transformers product. It's from Pyramid. And let's go ahead and take this out because it is quite heavy. So this is a hardcover. And I love that, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of like a design, but it's, it's all red. There's a, a magnetic button thing. And so let's see, the pages on the side are blue, but on the inside, they're just white. So this is not a lined notebook, it's just kind of more like a sketchbook, what I would say. And then inside cover you have, whoa, I just lost my voice, what just happened? You have some designs right there. This is a nice little notebook. This looks really fancy. I always talk about using notebooks at work because I use notebooks like this at work. And this one is nice because it looks fancy. Like, and it doesn't, it's not like super in your face transformers. I mean, this is for sure, but like, it's not terribly in your face. I have, I at one point was using a Hulk journal that I had and it was like green and purple. It was really like bright. And yeah, that's one when you're like in a professional setting that it, it like kind of sticks out a little bit, but this one would be a good one for for work for me. Okay, the next one we have, this is super cool. What? This is a Chewbacca seatbelt cover. That is amazing. One of my coworkers loves Chewbacca and I feel like I could totally give this to him, but I don't know if he drives. I actually think he takes public transportation. So this is just um, a thing to look like Chewbacca's like strappy thing and you can put this on your seatbelt so that it pads it. I'm totally gonna put that on my seatbelt. Oh, I'm loving this box, you guys. All right, oh, this is why the box was kind of heavy. The next thing we have is a Groot Metal Figs. And this is a, this is one of the regular size ones because they make teeny tiny ones and they make small ones. And then this is like the regular size one and then they make giant ones. So this is like the medium one. And this is of Groot. This is very cool. I actually like Metal Figs. I don't buy them as much, but they sell them at Target and every time I see them like, I definitely, I like this size and then the smaller one. I'm not a huge fan of the teeny tiny ones, like the nano ones, but yeah, that is very, very cool. Next we have, this looks like a little stocking in the design of a Pokeball. So we have a little stocking and there should be a little thing you can hang it. This will be very great for next year. Sorry I didn't open this sooner because then I could have used it this year, but oh, I wasn't even here for Christmas. Was I here for Christmas? Oh, I was here for Christmas. Well, you know, you guys know what I mean. Okay, that's cool. All right, the next thing we have is probably a set of holiday cards. And these are gonna be, let's see if we can open these. They did a very good job of taping these in here. Ah, I actually would think that they actually don't want you to get into these with how well they taped it. Okay, got it, kind of, almost. Ah, okay, got it this time. So we have a set of two holiday cards. Oh, this is cool. Who's 
I forgot who, who did the wizarding ones, but I bet you these are very similar. Cartwell or something, Kent Cartwell. But we have Crash Bandit. And we have BB-8. I love the BB-8 one a lot. I'm assuming these are probably blank on the inside. Yes, they're blank on the inside so you can like just write in them. But I love this artwork and I love this BB-8 so much. Ugh, that's a really cool one. They give you some nice envelopes. Again, this was for November, but we still have a few more items. So let's go ahead, check these out. So we have artwork and this is a licensed print and this is of Crash I think his name's Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. I like this artwork though. I didn't play that game because I didn't have a play, it was in a PlayStation, I didn't have a PlayStation. Um, but this is a cool little print. And then the last item we have is our shirt. We have a Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium. It's a black shirt. And this is the design. From what I saw, it looked like silhouettes of the evolution of Pikachu. So I think I saw like an outline of Raichu and Pikachu and then I, I didn't see the other one, but it's probably Pichu. Yes. Okay. This is really, I like this shirt a lot. I don't know what this, the overall silhouette looks like. It's supposed to kind of be like a mushroom, but I'm assuming that it's just like the shadow. They're on a tree stem, but I love the silhouette of them. I'm such a huge fan of that. That's very cool. Very, very cool. I like this shirt a lot. Okay, here's our recap. Um, if you made it, oh, Muggle Magic is the YouTuber shout out. And then let's do this really quick. Wow, look how many metal figs they had. So they must have gotten some kind of something, like a deal with, like it's super, there's heck of metal figs. Um, there's, oh, I would have loved the Power Ranger ones. There's Power Rangers, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I got the one, the only one they had from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. There's some WWE, Street Fighter, Doctor Strange, Civil War, Harry Potter, X-Men, Walking Dead, and then Ghostbusters. So, all right, let's check this out. We're gonna do this really quick because I have a bunch of boxes, so we gotta go fast. The exclusive festive stocking that was like a, a Pokeball, it's very cool, kind of like an Etsy style thing. I would probably give that $4. I don't remember how much I gave it in the other box. We had our greeting cards. These are really nice cards. This is by Kevin Cantwell. I was close. Um, I wouldn't mind giving these at least $2 each, so you could give this $4 for the two. You might even be able to give them $5, to be honest, because they're, uh, Exclusive artwork. Should we give it five? Let's do five. Cards usually cost $2.99 unless you get really cheap cards for a dollar, but that's really rare. We got our Chewbacca seatbelt cover. Okay, on Amazon, this is going for about $15. I would say that this is definitely worth $10. You probably could give it 12. I think I'm fine with 12. 15 seems a little high. Um, it is on here for technically like 15 or 16. Uh, some actually have it for 17, but I would say I would say 12 or 13. Let's do 12. We have our metal figs. These cost about $10 on at Target, I believe. I think that's fair for that figure. It's very heavy if you could feel it. We got our Transformers journal. This is a really nice journal. This is nicer than the ones, if it was basic, like just plain and didn't have this and everything, I'd probably just give it like eight, but I think you could easily give this 10. Uh, 12 at most, but I think 10 is fair for that. We had our shirt, which was the evolution of Pikachu. We're gonna give that 10. And then we had our Crash Bandicoot print. And let's see, there was two different designs. None of them were like exclusive or like special edition, but there's two different ones. I actually like the other one where he's like running. I like that one, but this one's cool. We're gonna give that $5 because it's licensed. This box is worth $56.50. Did I count that wrong? 10, 20, 30, 40, no, that's about right. Wow, this box got really, really great value. This box cost me $34 a month, which means we got $22.50 extra value. So that was a very, very, very good box. And I really like the items in there actually. So, ooh, I can't wait to see what the other ones are like, but that one was really good. I definitely appreciate that one. Okay, let's go to our next box. This is gonna be for December, I believe. Once you close the tab and you open up the box and you, Remove the tissue paper, I can't tell. Oh, there's a card. Oh geez, okay, well, that's what you're gonna see. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this card. It says, Happy New Year's from Geek Gear. Uh, let's see, a massive thank you for subscribing to our boxes throughout 2018. We wouldn't be where we are today without our customers' continued support. Wishing you all a fun-filled, geeky, and simply magical new year from all of us here at Geek Gear. So they are very, very good at those personal touches, which I always appreciate. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, we're gonna set the shirt to the side, and here we go. This seems like a mismatch of a lot of things, 
but I'm kind of excited to check it out. There's some DC stuff I see. All right, first one we have is this Aquaman mug. The box isn't very, uh, it's kind of a little bit bent up. It went through, it's a little bit rough. It went through a lot on the shipping here. This is a heat changing mug, which is very exciting. I love heat cha changing mugs. I don't know if I'll keep this because I'm not a huge fan of Aquaman, but this one, when, it, when it's hot, it gets like this cool little teal background, which is very, very cool. This is what it looks like cold though. So you guys know I love heat changing mugs. That's very nice. I actually love the color of this mug too. It's kind of like this bluish gray, like a slate blue color. Next we got this Batman action figure and this is the Riddler. I don't know, this is like an old school classic action figure. It's not old, it's just made to look old. Like this is newer, it just looks old, but it's not old. They do a really good job of making this look really old. Even the packaging looks super old. Next we have a set of Adventure Time coasters. Oh, this is cool. Now I'm not a fan of Adventure Time, although I do love BMO. Okay, that's not fair. Like I like Jake and Finn and they have the Ice King. Oh man, I only know the characters because I have received so many Adventure Time items in my boxes. These are the designs of the coasters. So I'm not gonna open these. I'm actually gonna save these just for my giveaway because I feel like that's a better use of them. Um, but a cool set. These are the types of coasters that are kind of like um, they're glazed over, but they're probably like really hard compacted cardboard, but glazed over just so that it doesn't like seep through the liquid. We have a pack of, it's a badge pack, and this is from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and these are button pins, I like to call them. They're like the things that you can get at Hot Topic, so that's cool. It's a five pack, which is nice. We have a set of festival wristbands. These are Mario and Luigi. I still don't understand what festival wristbands means. Like. I don't quite understand like what you're supposed to do with them, but it just has this bead and you put your wrist in it and you close it. But I like don't know what people, like what kind of festivals do you go to where you wear things like this, I guess. Cause I've, I've received a lot of those. I just don't really understand what people use them for. Ooh, this is cool. We got a cushion cover. I love the cushion covers that we get from Geek Gear. Um, I have to go to, I guess some of you guys have said that Ikea is a good place. Now that I have a sofa, if you don't know that I have a sofa, you should check out my other channel, Life with Nerdy Noob, and watch my most recent vlog, and you'll see my new furniture that I got downstairs, which is super exciting. But I need to get a bunch of cushions, because I got a lot of these like cushion cover things, but I don't have enough cushions. So this is a cushion cover, and it has a, a mashup of different games. I saw a Donkey Kong, a Pac-Man, it looks like there's some game controllers. Let's see, what else, some Mario in there. Oh, I love this, this is very, very, very cool. This is a cool cushion cover, I'm a fan of that. Nice. And then the last item before the shirt is our licensed print. This print is from, oh, it's a Marvel print, it's from Venom, and it has Spider-Man and Venom on it. Oh, what an interesting mixture of items in this box. We got a lot of DC items, and then there's like this random Marvel item. But there's our print. So they didn't do a little like pamphlet thing, which is fine. We can just do it ourselves. So we had our Venom print, license print, $5. Oh, wait, 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 shirt, shirt, shirt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium. It's a gray shirt, and this is the design. And this is a shirt that's supposed to be made kind of after Aquaman. So it says Atlantis Swim Team. Oh, that's funny. I wish I was a good swimmer. I think I'd appreciate the shirt a little bit more. Okay, so shirt gets $10. $10. Print gets $5, licensed print. The heat changing mug, you can give this, uh, because it's heat changing, I'd say eight to $10. And I think I think uh, $9 is fair. If the box was in better condition, I might give that 10, but the box is kind of janky a little bit. It just got a little bit damaged, that's all. Um, we have our action figure. I think you could give that $5. Those are, I don't know, he does not, I don't, I don't know. Uh, cushion cover, definitely $5, maybe $6. It's a small, it's not huge. I would say $6 is fair. I don't remember what I've been giving that lately, but we're gonna do $6. Badge set, I think you could probably give this like $4, $4 or $5. I'll do $4.
Seems about fair, maybe $3. Uh, these things, I think $2. I have no idea what those are. And then our coaster set, I think you could give this at least $5. I like the packaging and I just, I don't know, five or $6, but we'll do on the lower end at five. So quite my price in this box is worth $46. We pay $34 a month, which means $12 extra value. Uh, that one wasn't as good of extra value as the first box. I still think the first box is my favorite. I like the items in the first box better. Let's go ahead and do this one, which is for January. So that one for December, the one we just unboxed. This is for January. Once you, this one was just open. All of these boxes came wrapped in plastic, but I took the plastic off. Once you're with the tissue paper, this is what you're gonna see. This box seems a little bit light, a little bit on the lighter end. You don't see much, you see our shirt. We're gonna set the shirt to the side. First item we have our Guardians Volume 2, the like things, those things, what are, festival wristlet things. Whatever they're called. We have this cool bendable posable Batman keychain. I am a fan of this. This is a definitely a fun little like novelty item, but I like that. Next we have a Geek Gear pin, and this is it looks like Aquaman's like thing, but maybe it's actually um, something else. Maybe like doesn't that look like Aquaman's like thing? What is it? I don't know what it's called. I don't know, but I don't I don't feel like they would have made that after that. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to make sense. Next we have this poster. What is this? This looks creepy. There's an eyeball right here. This feels like a really big poster. I'm never gonna be able to get this back. Oh man. Oh, it's a Game of Thrones. Winter is here. Oh, and it's everyone's face. So this is a licensed Game of Thrones poster. I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. I don't know any of these people. I'm sure there's probably like, I bet you like this poster has like, I always want to call her Daenerys. Daenerys, da what's her name? Da Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen, Targaryen. Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen and probably Stark is probably on here and probably House of Lannister. Look at me with all of my awesome Game of Thrones knowledge, okay. I'm not gonna say that I regret unrolling this, but uh, yeah, definitely not something that I'm a fan of, and I'm gonna definitely give this away either to friends. I have a lot of friends. I did not realize how many of my friends are Game of Thrones fans. I had no idea. I just really, I said this on my live stream today, like I just am not a fan of like the medieval type things. That's just my personal taste, I guess. I have tried to watch it though. A lot of you guys say, like, just watch it. You're like, I have watched it. I haven't not watched it. I've watched it. I just, yeah. So Game of Thrones poster. There's another poster in here. Another long poster. Oh gosh, is this an, it's another Game of Thrones poster. Ooh. Ooh. There's Dane, Denari, Dane, whatever her name is. This one's a, a like a, an artwork print and there is an autograph on the bottom. So that's cool. And then you have, hmm. I forgot what that guy's called, but he's creepy. Creepy looking, but that's a cool little um, art print. Daenerys, how, is that how you say her name? She looks a little bit drunk in this print though. Maybe the pin has something to do with Game of Thrones because there's a lot of Game of Thrones items in this. So I feel like that would make more sense. Again, this is for January, 2019. Uh, the last item before the shirt is of course our licensed print. Oh no, see, I think I was right. This is a, a, I don't know, an Aquaman print. It says, Unite the Kingdom. I think the pin looks like the dude's stick thing, whatever it's called, staff. I don't know what you guys call it. I don't know. Okay, and the last time we have is our shirt. Guild and Soft Men's Medium. It's a black shirt. Is this a Predator shirt? This looks like maybe it's supposed to be Alien versus Predator. I don't know, what a re what this box is a very odd assortment of items, I must say. Let's go ahead and do, again, okay, so January, so YouTuber spotlight is Ben HPTS, hip I don't know how you say that. Let's do this. First time we have is our shirt. Again, I think that's Alien vs. Predator. Not a huge fan of that shirt. It's kind of random a little bit, I think. Uh, we had our keychain. They had a bunch of different keychains that you could have received. We got this one. I would say this is a very novelty keychain. It's weird because I just gave the action figure that I got in the last box $5, but I think you could give this $5 as well. Our licensed print is $5. The licensed Game of Thrones poster, which is a little bit bigger, I think you could, 
I would say $5 as well, but you might be able to give that $6. I'm going to do $2 for the festival bands. I'm going to do, let's do $10 for this print. This is an artwork print from Paul Toner. So, um, they work with them a lot. It is hand signed, which is nice. And then we had our Trident enamel pin. So again, I think this is from Aquaman and I would give this pin, I'd give this pin $4. It's a little bit, it's a more on the basic side, nothing too fancy. $41 worth of value, we pay $34. So $7 worth of extra value. Now again, subscription boxes are like kind of dying out to be 100% honest. I like Geek Gear because I just always have liked them. Um, so I'm glad they're still around. This, this one was not my favorite box. This one was probably now my least favorite box, not just because of the value, but I just wasn't a huge fan of the items and the assortment of items. Um, but if you liked, you know, all of them, then I'm sure you'd probably like that. But still, box number one, which is our November box, is number one in my heart. So let's check out this box. I actually got this box not that long ago, a couple days ago. This is our February box. It says Handmade with Love. Now I know at one point they were trying to kind of change up their wizardry box and make it a little bit more like old school how they used to do it where it's like a little bit more Etsy type things. I don't know if they're trying to do it with this box. I kind of hope they don't because I like their regular Geek Gear Classic box but let's go ahead and see what's in here. This box is quite heavy. Probably second heaviest box. <gasps> oh. Okay, oh, it smells like very fragrant. So this is what you see. Okay, so it does look like they might have gone the Etsy route for both of their boxes. There's some kind of sand or something coming out of this box. I don't know what it is, but there is some sand or something leaking out of the box. Okay, let's put this in here so that we don't make a huge mess. I think they have some kind of soap or something. All right, first one we have is in this box. This says dragon egg bath bomb. Oh, this might be what's leaking powder. Oh yeah. I'm not a bath bomb kind of person. Um, it just smells very soapy. So here's our dragon egg bath bomb. It is wrapped in plastic, but there is like things leaking from it. It's like powdery stuff. That's a cool concept. I think this is kind of like, it's supposed to be based off of um, Game of Thrones. So we'll put that back in here. It's very fragrant. It now smells like soap. Not terrible though. Let's dust off the powder. All right, this was a two shirt box. So let's put the two shirts to the side. We'll do those last. This one looks like the Grinch, but I don't think it is. Okay, what do we have? Okay, the next one we have is, this is like a tote bag. This kind of looks like a reusable tote bag. So here's a reusable tote bag. Now this has the same artwork from the shirt last, the last, or the last box, which was the month before. Um, it's Alien vs. Predator. I'm kind of confused, like, I feel like the mixture of items and the, like, this could have been in the last box and it would have, like, matched the shirt, I guess. I don't know. But if you like Alien vs. Predator, that's not bad. Next we have a collectible coin. This is Sea of Thieves Pirates for All Eternity, and this is a gold coin. This is uh, limited to 1,000, and they're individually numbered. We can pop this open just to see what number we got. We got number 113. So here's the opposite side. This is the one that has the number on it. It's really hard to see the number. It's that little small number right there, but we got 113. And then here's the other side. I like these little collectible coins. I don't know what people do with these, but I don't know. There's just something about them. We do get a lot of these collectible coins from Geek Gear. I've gotten some Star Wars ones, and those are the only ones I remember. Next, we have pins. These are, it's a pin badge set. These are Universal Studios Monsters, and these are numbered. It's limited to 9,995 worldwide. What an interesting, like, <laughs> limitation of the numbers. These are licensed universal pins. It looks like we have Frankenstein and, and the mummy, or mummy. So let's go ahead and see what numbers we got, just for fun. How cool would it be if you got like number one? That'd be crazy. This one is number 332. You probably won't be able to see that, it's very small. Do you think the other one is 332 as well, or do you think these are different? No, they're both 332, so. Um, ooh, these are really heavy pins, though. These are nice pins. I like them. These are pretty classic, especially if you're just into, like, the old school monster movies. Those are pretty cool. And they're licensed, which is always nice as well. Again, this box was from February 2019. Um, before we do the two shirts, let's go ahead and check out our 
license print. This is Deadpool. So this was the hint that they gave us in the pamphlet the month before. Uh, this is the only Deadpool item. Maybe there might be one more. I don't know. I don't know the shirt designs, but uh, we have Deadpool with his gun that when he shoots it says bang. Um, oh, it's like a nail gun. Let's check out the shirt. So the first shirt we have, this looks like the Grinch. Oh, it's not the Grinch, it's the Joker. Okay, I thought it was the Grinch. I was like, that's weird. This is a Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium and it's a white shirt. Ooh, this is a creepy shirt. I wish I was a fan of the Joker. I feel like if I liked the Joker, I would like love the shirt. I love how simple it is. It's very, very simple. There's no actual outline of his face. It's really just his hair, his eyes, and his mouth, and his like little nose and the wrinkles in his forehead. Um, a little bit kind of creepy looking, but uh, the Joker is pretty creepy, so that makes sense. Okay, I'm excited for this shirt. This is a men's medium, Guild and Soft style black shirt. And this looks like the same design actually from the, okay, it's not the same design. It's very similar to the cushion cover, the video game cushion cover that we got. It's like kind of the same, but different. So you have Donkey Kong, you have Mario, you have Pac-Man, um, but I love this. I actually love this thing because I like old school video games. So uh, this, this is definitely, I think this might be between this one and the P, I think actually this is my favorite shirt out of all four boxes. And then the second one that I like is the, the Pikachu Evolution shirt. But I really like this one a lot. I like classic gaming shirts. All right, again, February 2019. My video ran out because this video is too long. I don't know where it was, but yeah, we have a shirt and then we have two th February 2019. Next month's hint, so for March is Star Wars. And then our YouTuber spotlight is this guy. The Potter Collector. Oh, he's a huge Harry Potter uh, YouTuber. So if you like Harry Potter, you can check him out. I think he's pretty, he's got a lot of subscribers, like a lot, a lot. All right, let's do this. So we had our old school gaming shirt. That's $10. We had our Joker shirt, kind of creepy, but we'll give it $10. We had our bath bomb egg thing. I don't know how much bath bombs cost. I do like the packaging and I like the concept. It's supposed to be made after kind of Game of Thrones. I would say you could probably give that, I'm going to give it $5. I would say four to $5. I don't really know. I don't buy a lot of bath bombs. We had our exclusive Aliens tote bag. It's a cool bag. It's a little bit small. I think because of the size, I would probably stick to like five to six dollars. I'm gonna give it six dollars because I actually like the design on it. Uh, our licensed Deadpool print, that's gonna get five dollars. We had our patch, our, our, I'm sorry, our pin set from Universal. It's a limited set. I really like these actually. These are really nice pins. I think you could probably give this pin set Probably six to seven dollars. I think seven dollars, three fifty each pin. I think is fair. So let's do seven. And then we had our Sea of Thieves coin. These coins are really funky. Like they sometimes you can get them really cheap online. Sometimes they're expensive. I think I usually price these at around ten dollars each, just to kind of keep it consistent. But yeah, it just depends on I think what like the brand is. So Sea of Thieves is a, a game. I think yeah, it's a game. I don't know if it's like more limited edition because it's a game, but the Star Wars ones that I had weren't worth as much. It just depends. So we'll give them 10. Anyways, this box is worth $53. We pay $34 a month, $19 extra value. Um, so value-wise, this was the second best box. Still, the first box was my favorite. Um, I think that the second box was probably my second favorite. I really didn't like the third box at all. This box, I really like this shirt and the pin set. I really, really like this classic gaming shirt. So each of the boxes, I like certain things from it, but definitely the first box was my favorite. Oh, if I had to rate the box, the first box would get a, I'm gonna say a five out of five noobs because I like all the items and it had great value. The second box, I would probably give it a 4.5 out of five noobs. I personally didn't like all the items as much and the value was a little bit less, but it was still good. The third box, I would say that box is like, for me personally, I'd say 3.75 to 5 noobs just because I didn't really like the items. But if you like the items, you could easily give this box a 4 or maybe a, I think at most a 4.5 because the value was a little bit lower on that one. And then this past one, I think based off of value, I mean, you could give this box a 5. I'm going to say a 4. Point, I would say a 4.25 for me personally just because, but I really like this shirt. This is, I think, one of my favorite shirts. So maybe a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. Uh, you know. Anyway, it's... It's decent and all of the boxes at least hit their value and got extra value, which is at this point what we're looking for. Like if you can get, if you can just hit your value with sub boxes, then you're good to be honest because a lot of sub boxes don't even hit the value anymore. All right guys, that was my mega unboxing video for my Geek Gear Classic Box. Thank you guys 
box. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this epic video. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Which was your favorite? Box number one, box number two, box number three, or box number four? I guess I could say by month. November, December, January, or February. Again, mine is definitely November, but let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I'm gonna give it to somebody who was in my live stream today and uh, did the hashtag nerdy noob hashtag geek gear giveaway. I actually did a giveaway in my live stream, so it was really, really cool. Uh, today's video shout out, I'm gonna give it to Gina Amy. Gina Amy, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on my live stream today. I appreciate all of your support and I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Gina Amy, shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.